Well, you know, it's Fashion Week here in New York City, folks. What do Helena Christensen, among many other top models, have in common? Their careers were shaped by one man who actually joins us right now, Scott Lips, president of One Management, along with Linda V., one of his newest discoveries. Guys, thanks for being with us. Thanks so much. How are you doing? It's good. Interesting time for Fashion Week this year with the recession. What's it been like down there? Um, a lot of designers are showing off site. Um, I think that it's still as busy as it used to be, and, and business is great. But um, you know, maybe instead of having 700 people in some of these shows, you have 300, and there's not as many parties as there used to be. I think people are just cutting costs. How did, how did you go from, wanting, from being a business major to saying, you know, I think I'll go out there and become uh, an agent for models? I mean, th there's a lot of guys who would like to do that. You did it, and you're successful. Um, I think I always wanted to combine like music and fashion and film, and those are all kind of three concepts. There's a lot of synergy in between all that stuff, and it really appealed to me. I hadn't really seen a lot of people that have taken all those like those concepts and put them together. So I started actually I was a musician for years, and I actually started in the business sort of my I started from the ground up. So I started as an assistant. I was driving models around at uh, 27, and all of a sudden I was like, listen, if I can combine, you know, take some film elements and take some music elements and take fashion as the core business and put them together. There might be something very cool there. So. Linda, I have to ask you, um, obviously your, your job is to be a model. You're beautiful. Are you finding out that your bookings are down recently because of the economic climate? Uh, I definitely, there's less bookings right now, but um, for not me, with I haven't, us. no, not with you, <laughs> not with but like in the whole industry. Yeah. But, um, you know, I've been working the same. I have very loyal clients over the years that I built up in New York City. So, so you're still getting the magazine covers and the fashion show Absolutely. bookings. And so it really hasn't changed for you. That's no. interesting. Obviously, it's because you're top of your game right now. But Linda's done. <laughs> Linda's a great. I think a lot of the magazines are still shooting, but some of the budgets are cut. So instead of like flying girls from Europe. They might look for a girl who's in New York or if they're shooting in L.A. and they're just, you know, watching the money. Out. We were just showing the Sports Illustrated cover because one of your clients is Bar Raffaelli, yes. who's... Very excited about yeah, that. Yeah, she's really doing very well. So, I mean, but they didn't go... I mean, is she kind of... The, is it because she's the new face or do you think it's because maybe her fee is going to be maybe a little less than, say... I don't even know who the top model is anymore, but I you think, know. I think clients want beautiful right now. Clients want safe, and clients are looking at celebrities, celebrity models. A lot of the girls that are in some of the campaigns right now are the Ava Herzegovas, and a lot of the girls are like these iconic models for years because ultimately, like, timeless beauty never really goes out of fashion. And I think it's really going back to a lot of that versus, there's, you know, a lot of these edgy girls do very well for a couple seasons, but when you look at the state of advertising right now, it's really going back to a lot about celebrity and a lot about these sort of iconic models. Linda, so. how, do you, how do you choose who you want to be your agent to represent you? You know, there's, uh, there's so many agencies out there, and it's really about the personal management, the personal relationship you have, and the passion the people that work for you have for you, you know? And I really found that in Scott, he's great. Like, if I call him at midnight and I need, you know, I need to talk to him, he's going to talk to me. So Hopefully we don't get those um, calls at midnight. But, uh, yeah, but I think you do during Fashion Week. I know you've had a busy week. Yeah. So, and it's been different this year, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, Scott Lips, thank you very much for coming course, in. So a great story, it. one management. Of appreciate course, Linda, good luck yeah. to you.